There's a place on Cape Cod that blends nature with the American tradition of baseball. It's a place where woodlands protect our drinking water and the bays we swim in. Where kids can run through dense forests to find themselves at one of America's most beautiful ball fields. Lowell Park in Katuit. Number three, Dennis E. Martin, a pitcher, Jonathan Hart. My ideal day in Katuit is definitely to get off of a Katuit skiff after a race um, around 4.35 in the afternoon and walk directly up the hill on Old Shore Road to Lowell Park and bare feet and watch a free ball game. That uh, is as close to heaven as one can get. Lowell Park is probably the nicest baseball field on Cape Cod. The thing that makes it special to myself as well as the many volunteers in the organization is the surrounding. It's a gem of a field located in a spattering of trees. ESPN has dubbed Lowell Park the new field of dreams. So it's not just Cape Codders who feel the power and beauty of Lowell Park and its surroundings. It has also drawn the attention of the national press. Lowell Park really became uh, uh, apparent to me it was special when Sports Illustrated published an aerial photograph of the park um, in the in 1970s. And it was a remarkable photograph. It, it showed that perfect baseball diamond carved out of the woods. But in the background was, was the harbor. And my, uh, you could see my dad's yellow sailboat in the picture. And Dead Neck and, and Samson Island and, and Nantucket Sound were in the background. And it really sank into me as, as like a 10-year-old kid that this was a pretty remarkable place to watch a baseball game. Family traditions at a Kettler game run deep from one generation to another. This is pure baseball, up close and personal. It's where a dining experience is a hot dog, chips, and a soda. A moment in time where kids, parents, and grandparents come together for an evening of fun and relaxation. I love to go to the games with my kids. They'll either all arrive at once or one at a time, usually looking for money because they're hungry and they want something out of the snack bar. But um, yeah, it's pretty much a family affair. Lowell Park, I can't imagine life without it. Um, I just, I've been summering here since I was born and I've, when I was younger I used to chase foul balls in Lowell Park and now I go every game to watch the best players. And it's just a part of my experience living in Katuit. I can't imagine life in Katuit without it. And I found the ball and I got this. Well, yes, it was totally worth it. He yes. found a game ball. We really wanted. Yeah. I've lived in a lot of places and seen a lot of baseball and there's no other park that's completely surrounded by woods and you're sitting on the, the uh, home field side and looking out into the outfield, you don't see anything else except green and uh, that is a, a truly unique experience. I mean, the Cape Cod League is um, unique already, um, but Lowell Park is certainly the gem and that is due in large part to the woods that surround it. Well, you know, when you go to a game these days, and in the, in the past it was also true, you, uh, from here we would drive up generally, especially when you have little children with you, uh, uh, but they would never let us just simply go in the main parking lot entrance there. You know, you had to make a trek through those woods. Uh, maybe it was to collect some of those baseballs that uh, are still now in a collection in the in the shed here, um, but uh, that was a whole part of it, you know, uh, that little walk through the woods. I certainly took for granted the uh, the forest that surrounds Lowell Park, and I think for years I assumed that it was part of the the, the water district um, and was part of the well field, or it was protected by conservation, um, and it's not. The 19 acres that are there could be developed um, very quickly without any variance into nine two-acre lots. Two acres is our standard, is now our zoned um, 
uh, minimum lot by a developer. That's nine um, septic systems, nine driveways, um, nine lawns that have to be, that are usually, let's say, um, fertilized with nitrogen. All this impacts on our uh, water system. Uh, it impacts our water uh, by draining down into our bay. Um, it impacts our well by draining down into the, um, the freshwater aquifer. Um, so we're concerned that, as are the Lowells, who uh, have offered this land to us at, at the price, the appraisal price, that they'd be preserved. Purchasing these 19 acres would also expand Barnstable Land Trust's open space to a 200-acre greenbelt. Imagine walking through this unspoiled Cape Cod forest. Then continuing over to Bell Farm, with its meadows of wildflowers and gentle sloping hills. Wandering a path of native trees and plants. Stopping to enjoy a moment of solitude. Continuing across a bridge and up to the tall pines of Eagle Pond. All of this is within reach of Katuit Village and its picturesque ballpark. Special places don't stay special by chance. To keep Lowell Park green, Barnstable Land Trust needs your help. Call Barnstable Land Trust at 508 771 2585 or go online to www.blt.org. And thank you.